So Alyssa Clips posted saying, get your views in from last night's stream while you can, because Alyssa had posted, uh, she had quite a lot of content of uh, Nick's streams and she's removed them all now, about 16 videos. But we'll go over to her channel, shout out to Alyssa Clips. She did, she did uh, preemptively warn me that I should uh, get any of the clips that I want before they go, but they're all gone. She's removed them all. Uh, she has, uh, she has uh, negotiated with the terrorists and uh, Nick has taken everything down. So get in your views from last night's stream while you can. Ricada Law has officially fallen. I know you rely on me to provide this content, uh, content, but unfortunately in the future, I won't be able to clip the same as I have been for his local exclusive stream. Sorry about that. So this is a direct message from Nick directly to uh, Alyssa, where it says, you do not have my permission to clip my locals. Exclusive content. Take it down by tomorrow or I will. So threatening a copyright strike. I also rescind my permission to clip my content. Play by fair use if you're going to do it. Now, Nick tried to come back on this later in the stream, um, later in the day. He said, oh, I just told her not to do my locals exclusive content. But th this message clearly shows that any content that is clipped in the way that she's uh, she has been doing. Now, unfortunately, Nick does have the right to do this. It is, let me, let me frank, it's a really shit move because he did give permission. And you know what? We'll watch the clip. I think it's, uh, we'll watch this clip. This is uh, Alyssa Clips on Ricada Law Approved. And this is from two years ago, December 29th, 2022. Let's take a quick look and see what the young Nick used to say. The old Nick, the Nick that we missed. Alyssa Clips says, Nick Cuck agree. <laughs> Alyssa, what am I agreeing to? Yes, I agree. What is it? For anybody out there who's like, uh, I, I, there was some talk I saw earlier about like me and Alyssa uh, fighting or something. I don't know if Alyssa's fighting with me. I don't think so. But if she is, cool. There's a little I'm, I'm not right there, though. I actually think, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Alyssa start as a Ricada fan? Like she was, she was originally posting like positive Nick clips. Uh, but then Nick started to go off the rails and she was just posting what people are interested in. So it's not like she really ever hated Nick. At least not until recently. That was my uh, perception of the issue anyway. I have no problem with Alyssa Clips or any other clip channel. Look, uh, I talked about this the other day. There are some there are some times when you go as a creator, you're like, fuck, clip channels, man. They make They make everything exist forever. Like sometimes you have that. Uh, and, and, but that's more lamenting the reality, like clip channels will make shit exist or, or they'll take things and it's out of the context that I think it should be in or whatever, but people see things differently. That's okay. I'm not fighting with any clip channel. I'm not striking any clip channel. I'm not telling any clip channel what to do ever, 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 ever. And Alyssa. So that's, so that was a fucking lie. So that was a lie has always had and will always have my permission to clip the show to clip the local streams whatever whatever she deems that's interesting i actually didn't realize that he'd given complete permission for even local streams i, I knew that he'd given permission for youtube uh but the that's actually locals are surprised too but i guess uh he's rescinded that offer now he can do this of course even though he says i give permission forever uh he can retroactively re retract his consent unfortunately uh, will be a good clip. That's that's it. So uh, hopefully we can put that fucking shit to bed. I just people make a lot out of a little, but no, I, I have no problems with clip channels existing. I don't have any problem with what they do until so, until they get a little bit you know. too critical. Right? We've heard it all before. Alyssa, okay. heard it. Oops, we've heard it all too many times. It's all good and well until they talk about me. How very sad. Now, there were some things I saw that um, people were saying that because it was behind a local's paywall, that changes the calculus. Uh, it doesn't. The idea that because something is on your regular YouTube channel where it's free to view versus being behind a paywall makes no difference for fair use. Now, Alyssa's clips, in my opinion, are not fair use. But it didn't matter until this time because... Nick had given her permission to do so. Now, there is changes in this clip. Like, he's, he's edited a bit. She's got a different title. And people often bring up the Sargon versus Aquila, obviously. Um, that I wouldn't take as a guarantee for every court case that would, if this actually went to court, which it won't, because it's much easier to just remove the clips and just get on with your life. Nobody nobody has time for these uh, lawsuits. They're very expensive, right, Nick? $200,000 uh, owed to your lawyer for Monty. 
is it? But I actually have a video. If you're curious about it, it's called on my channel. It's called This is Fair Use and how to make transformative use content on YouTube. If you're curious about fair use, I'd recommend going to check out this video. It's from uh, two years ago, back when I kind of first started my channel. It's very informative, I think, and I think it's a very good video. And I think I have a very, very experienced knowledge of fair use, particularly because, like I said, you can make fair use content out of paywalled stuff because what is paywalled? Movies, TV. And that's kind of the bread and butter that I've made on YouTube is that I've done like my Rings of Power videos and uh, Velma, things like that. Even though I did get a copyright strike for the Velma content, I appealed it and won because I knew what I was doing with uh, fair use. Now, if she wants to, if Alyssa wants to put a little bit more editing into this, like the third world aristocrat video we saw at the start, where it's like Nick versus Nick, that is fair use. And now, is Nick butthurt enough that he might copyright strike her anyway and might take her channel down anyway because sometimes the YouTube gods just don't smile on you favorably? Uh, that's a risk. That's a risk. But what can Alyssa do now? I guess she can't upload the original Rakata content like we've been used to, uh, which is actually bad for Nick, in my opinion. First of all, clip channels are very good for the ecosystem because more people see your shit. Uh, second of all, now she can only upload fair use content that has Nick's content in it, which means that she can upload content of people watching Nick's clips and reacting to it and injecting their commentary in it. So Legal Mindset, uh, Aaron Emholt, my stuff, she can do those clips. And because the content that I'm doing now is my intellectual property, uh, because I've, I've transformed it by making commentary, by criticism, and uh, yeah, just, just injecting myself into this is what I've made this Nick, original Nick clip into my clip, or I guess it's Alyssa's clip actually, but uh, that's how it works, right? That's how you transform things, it becomes yours. So what she's what Nick has essentially done by banning the pure content from his channel is that now every piece of Rakata content, if she just chooses to go forward and upload it, maybe she just walks away. She's got other things she can do, right? There's other people to clip. But if she decides to go forward, then it's just going to be like Kino Casino or Legal Mindset, like tearing Nick apart. So every clip that is of Nick on her channel will be pure negative content with no, <laughs> no neutral stance. Like the... When you put a Nick clip up by itself, it's neutral, right? You can most people look at it and take it negatively, but some of his fans will see that and go, "Okay, I see, I see, this is reasonable." But now every clip of Nick is going to have the commentary of someone else who's going to be more likely than not criticizing Nick. So it's just going to be a disaster. Like, and not only just think of the optics; it's a complete reversal on his own stance, the complete hypocrisy. It, it's it's a bad move when you get this. When you get to this point, it's like. You're not very far away from being like, I guess he's already log color of the year. So uh, I don't know. It's like, it's the beginning of the end, I would say, when you start to get to this, uh, to get to this stage. Every time he comes online, he's going to be criticized for it. Uh, people are going to be hounding him for revenge. And now that he's shown that he can be hurt by this, people are going to do it more. Like many, Elb, that's Alyssa, fell off around the ass bottle and hedonism too. Yeah. I think that's kind of when I tuned out as well. It was kind of like post the Johnny Depp trial. I think that's like the last time I can really remember uh, really watching in a positive manner. But I just kind of just uh, tuned out and I was just going to like quietly disappear. Uh, it wasn't until the actual arrest that I decided to kind of jump into the fray. So I guess I was a bit late to the, the party uh, on that one at least. 